Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. This time we'll be talking about the Android Bottom Sheets. Uh, the Bottom Sheets provide a great way to display additional information to your users without getting in the way. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to leverage the design support library to display the material bottom sheet in your own applications. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be source file of this particular application and uh, we'll be talking, we'll be ex I'll be explaining in details how this flows. In the Gradle script, we we'll still have the model app session being maintained, the Android support app compiled version 7, the support design and the JUnit test compile. I'm using the Android Studio 2.2.3 version. I'll be moving straight to the layout. I have the activity main XML and the fragment bottom sheet XML. In the activity main XML, which is the UI launcher of this particular application, I have the Android support design widget, the coordinator layout. When I assign an ID to your main content, the layout with an ID, match parent, and the fits system windows is true. That follows by a scroll view, whereby the layout with an ID is match, con par match parent, uh, respectively. Uh, the layout behavior is calling the Android support design widget upper layout. While the linear layout is right inside the scroll view, uh, whereby we set the rotation to vertical and the padding top to 24 dp. That is, that is the space at the top of this layout to the scroll view. We have three buttons right inside this linear layout. The first button will assign button 1 to it. Uh, whereby it has a text color of white and a background calling from the color XML, which is the holo green deck. The second button will assign the button 2 with a padding of 16 dp around it and the layout margin of 8 dp. It has the text of button 2. The third button will assign an ID button 3 with a padding of 16 dp, the layout margin of 8 dp, and the text on it is button 3. A closing linear layout and a closing scroll view. We have a nested scroll view tag that houses the bottom sheet. Whereby we are sending an ID to it called bottom sheet. Uh, the layout width and height match parent and 350 dp to the layout height. The Android background color is calling the holo orange light. The holo orange red light. The app behavior is calling the Android support design widget the bottom sheet behavior. We have a text view about the layout with the night match parent, and the text is calling the lower Ipsum from the string XML. A padding of 16 dp and the text size of 16 sp. A closing nested scroll, scroll view layout tag, and also the closing of the coordinator layout. Let's get to look at the fragment bottom sheet XML that holds onto the bottom sheet uh, display. It's a linear layout with the rotation of vertical and the layout width of match parent and uh, height of match parent. A text view with the same layout width and height and the text on it is calling uh, from the... This is a test dialog fragment. You know, a static text, a text color of white a text size of 16xp padding of 16xp background calling the hollow purple it has an image view uh, that is actually calling from the drawable the lily lake that's a drawable uh, of this particular png file called lily lake we we'll get to look at that drawable that's a jpeg file rather not just uh, a picture right from the uh, the google search Let's get to look at the Java classes. We have the dialog fragment and the main activity. Start off with the main activity. Uh, this extends app compact activity and implements the view on click listener. We have a private bottom sheet behavior called M bottom sheet behavior. Uh, no create method called on the super on create self instance state. We set the content view to the layout activity main where we initialize each bottom sheet buttons. The first button, second, and the third and the bottom sheet view, view what we call the view by ID, the bottom sheet all are gotten from the activity main XML. We set on clickness now to each of the buttons and uh, we call the bottom sheet from the we call the bottom sheet behavior from the bottom sheet object created 
passing this to the M bottom sheet behavior. We set the bottom sheet callback by instantiating with the new keyword the bottom sheet behavior, calling the callback. On state changed, we pass the bottom sheet and the new state. Now, if the new state is equal to the bottom sheet behavior, based on the state collapse, the bottom sheet behavior is going to set the peak height to zero. On slide, there's going to be a slide effect that slide down. If you're true, probably you click the button and it slide up, you can easily slide down. Uh, this is going to float the slide offsets. On the onclick method, we have the switch case where we get the ID of the particular um, view. For the first case, if the ID is button one, no, the end button set behavior is going to set the state to the button sheet behavior and the state expanded. We're going to break this. For the button two, the end button sheet behavior is going to set the peak height to 300 and it's going to set the state to the button sheet behavior state collapsed. For the button tree, it's going to call the bottom sheet dialog fragment by instantiating it with a new dialog fragment, creating the bottom sheet dialog fragment object from this. And it's going to show the get support fragment manager and the bottom sheet dialog fragment get tag. It's going to break this out. That's for the three case. The first one is the button one, the second two, and the third, the button three. Let's get to look at the dialog fragments. This extends button sheet dialog fragments. And uh, we have the private field, the button sheet behavior, which is the button sheet callback, being instantiated with a new button sheet behavior, creating the end button sheet behavior callback. On state changed, if the new state equals to the button sheet behavior state hidden, we're going to call the dismiss method. On slide, we have the button sheet and the slide offset. The set up dialog, whereby we have the dialog and the style, is going to call on the super class of the set up dialog, passing the dialog and the style parameters. And they have the content view, where we call the get contest and the layout fragment bottom sheet. You set the content view and pass the content view as its parameter. Same goes for the coordinator layout. What about we have the layout parameters with the params? Uh, you get the behavior and uh, set it appropriately. If the behavior is not equal to null and the behavior is an instance of the bottom sheet behavior, it's going to set the bottom sheet callback, passing the end bottom sheet behavior callback at this parameter. This is just a fragment that calls on to the uh, lorem ipsum text or whatever you have, probably the image or a text view or something you want to show on the fragment of the bottom sheet drawer. Let's get to look at the manifest. This is just a simple manifest without any uh, permissions. Just write in that. I'll be showing you the screencast of this particular application so that you get to see how the bottom sheet is being used and being called. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.